Like, uh, uh, so we're making this so that we have multiple definitions that basically say in a lot of different ways what permaculture actually is. So what is this permaculture is? Yeah. It's about 17 different <laughs> this things. This is 17 things. Occurring in 17 different people. Yeah. Which is, or more than 17 people, so. And it, it changes everywhere. Yeah. So when you go to South America, permaculture is more of this philosophy of working with nature, or it's more like, oh, creating a collective intelligence, or it's little bit magic. You know, some people in South America will say, it's putting your hands in the earth and connecting with the magic of the earth. And then when you come up north <laughs> to North America, they're a little more like, oh, it's a design system of plants and animals, or it's a design system of landscapes, or I've met people who consider it just a tool for liberation or a tool for change. Um, other people talk about indigenous knowledge and using modern technology together to create a regenerative future. So there's um, yeah, so many different definitions. So what's cool about this is that all the big kind of the long definitions don't matter. What matters is these big words like nature. Permaculture is nature. Permaculture is design. Is a system. It's philosophy. It's philosophy. It's natural ecosystems. Is regeneration. Is a tool. It's magic. So, it's magic. <laughs> so instead of reading, you know, the whole wild yielding and abundance of food, fiber, and energy and provisions for local needs, you can just say it's design. You know, kind of simplify it. So it's maybe simple, hopefully simpler for people to understand. Yeah, but this is by like <laughs> big, big name people in permaculture that are very knowledgeable on a lot of different things. So um, we're giving it justice by showing that there's many definitions of permaculture, each of them being specific to somewhere. And how you apply. Yeah. <laughs>